biscuit joiner attachment for a two and a half inch router 3d printed before we get started if you look below in the description there's going to be up to a file where you can actually 3d print these yourself okay the video has about six segments in it the first segment is design then we have design problems assembly cost i do go through the cost of printing and a reality check so stay tuned let's get started right now This is the main base. We're going to add the slider to the main base now. If you take a look, the slider slides back and forth. Right here, we're going to mount the uh, guard. And on the opposite side, we're going to mount the router base. Let's add the guard. There's the guard. The router bit will protrude through here and we'll put this up against the wood. It'll slide back and forth with stops. This is a stop block. We couldn't make it as one piece because the way the 3D printing comes out, it would have all sorts of retaining walls around the outside or support walls, and we don't want that. So we just added as a secondary piece. And we added the router. So there, and this guy will slide back and forth, spring loaded. Problems with the design. The two main problems that I ran into was the holes didn't line up on two halves. The second part was the stop tab was actually protruding out of the inner top. We changed them and it's all good to go. Okay, so with this guy, I needed to massage the sizes a little bit because it was an upside down undercut that was 3D printed. The problem is that the sizes come out a little small. I heated up the parts just a small amount and forced the dovetails together.
Okay, I put some uh, food grade grease. It looks like Vaseline. Just a, a hair on here. And this thing slides perfectly. So now I gotta put the bolts in. These bolts in. I'll lubricate the bolt a small amount. Just very little. Now the bolts are gonna go head first, but I wanna put the springs in first. Pushes in, oh, there we go. Pushes in so the head goes like that. This guy here, same thing with this one. I was gonna put washers in there, but I thought, oh, I don't need it. It'll be okay. So that fits in just like that, nice and tight. Two bolts on here. don't have to be really tight. Because they're just placeholders. Okay. Does this move? need to put the depth stop in to stop see how far this will go back stop it from depth I know this isn't the right bit, I'll put the bit in afterward, but I just want to see if this can be set to size. Oh yeah. Sticks out to here. I don't have any fancy depth stop. I could design it, but I didn't. I can lock this in. That's what I wanted to double check to make sure that I locked it in. And then it comes out and cuts. So that's pretty good so far. Let's change the cutter. Ha ha, biscuit joiner, perfection. Biscuit joiner complete.
awesome. Okay, so I got all excited. I want to actually test this out. Uh, if we take a look here. Put this guy in. There's no power to this yet. So I'm going to set it. This guy here, I don't have an actual depth stop set. So I'm going to go about there. See the cutter. Tighten up my hose clamps. That's very secure. Cutters here. So what'll happen is as I push this up against the wood, the cutter will come out. Over here I don't have oops. I don't have my stop set yet to stop it from going in so far. Uh, it's a hook that goes around. I'll make that later. I just thought it'd be kind of cool. I want to see this thing run. Got the extension cord. It's in a case, so it'll be okay if I do have it on, because you never know if this guy's on or not. It's not, which is kind of nice. So let's turn it on. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect little biscuits. The cost of printing. Uh, rotor clamp, $3.95. The ad block, it was only five cents, that was pretty cheap. The slide plate, $7.05. The mounting plate for the base and the router, $10.00. 45 cents. The total is $27.90. Okay, the real cost, by the time I add the printing, the bolts, the cutter, I'm over $50 for this thing. We'll take a look here. Before I got the printing back from the print shop, I was on Kijiji just searching around, and here's a perfectly good kit joiner for $20. I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. So, you know I went out and bought it. Well, this is what it looks like. reality check you don't know what you don't know and that is true because I thought I had designed my own biscuit joiner ends up I can get one on eBay which has almost the exact same design as what I have for less than it cost me to make you don't know what you don't know I hope you've enjoyed the video if you want to see more great videos go to my youtube channel shop and math also, if you got any value out of this video, please like and subscribe just by hitting on my face below. It's free and it'll help me out. Have a night.